At this point, I was a mess, y'all. A complete mess. Y'all, Memphis would not let us be great. Every time we flipped that timer over, he was not having it. He just did not like the sound, and he Shut was up. mad. He did not like that noise. No. He don't like no noises. Oh, my God. Name three famous bald people. What do you mean, bald people? Bald, bald head. head. Oh, bald. <laughs> oh, Michael Jordan, you, and I. What you talking about, Will? <laughs> Time to eat. We had some fried shrimp on deck. Babe, y'all lost? Oh, yeah, we lost. Right. He said we lost. Leg. Not leg. Leg. Not on his birthday, though. Oh, shit. Hey, what? We don't care who birthday it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, cheesy! Dang, that's a shame. It be your own kids, don't it? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to step it up. It's always an excuse, right, Lexi? Exactly. There's always something I lose too, right? We be making them work for their wins, okay? <laughs> Kevin enjoying his birthday drink too. We got him a gallon for his birthday. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Hold it! Come on, Tia! Let's go! 
One eternity later. Hey, I don't have my stand. I'm in the car, but I just wanted to check in real quick and tell you guys that I am up early. My dad is coming today and it's seven. No, it's eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to run in Walmart really quickly. I got to get like three things. And then I'm gonna go back home. They just really got on the road. They're like six and a half hours away. And I'm gonna do a little vlog today um, with, with his visit and show you some of the cool stuff we're gonna do. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, I'm on my front porch. I don't know what direction they're gonna come from, but my daddy, should be pulling up any minute. I'm so excited to see my dad. I haven't seen him since. I think we went because Kevin wanted to see everybody before he had that very first big surgery, before they removed his bladder. And that was, he had the surgery in April. So I'm thinking we were up there in like February or March. Did we go for his birthday? I wonder what's that when I was there last. For his birthday. And I haven't seen him or my mom since then. So my mommy couldn't come. And my daddy just decided <laughs> him and my husband are really tight. And he just really wanted to come. Not just see my husband, but to check on me because you know, my mom and dad are always super worried about me and what's going on and all the things that I'm responsible for. So he wanted to just come and make sure I'm good. So I'm excited. I'm a daddy's girl, like to the umpteenth power. And he is just, he is just the best, just the best, not just daddy. Yeah, I know I'm biased because that's my daddy, but he's just the best human ever. Like he just is, he's just so many wonderful things about him. The way he loved us and my, me and my brother, the way he loves my mom and all of us really he's just a kind kind so i can't say that enough and oh they're pulling up they're pulling up they're pulling up they're pulling up that's my daddy y'all that's my dad i should have turned the camera that is my daddy right there daddy <laughs> Daddy, you wore your Nash shirt. <laughs> Daddy. Hi, Daddy. How are you? I'm okay. I'm good. I'm better now. Well, okay. I'm better now. Bumpy's back. She's been sitting in the car for seven hours. She's well, now that we got all the hellos and the greetings out the way, we had to get to business, okay? Because I have been waiting for my dad to come to cut my hair. Now, my dad used to be a barber, for real, a barber, back in his much younger days, uh, before he became a business professional, he was indeed a barber. My grandparents owned a barber shop as well as a print shop. Okay, so these cash envelopes and all this printing and that type of thing is in my bloodline, y'all. Okay, so um, I had kind of really cut my hair off right at the beginning of the summer just to kind of start over. I usually do that in the summer just to get rid of any kind of damage or whatever to my hair. But up until my dad came, I had just been kind of doing, doing it myself. So I knew it needed help. And then we moved on to the eyebrows, of course. Yes, he used a um, razor blade, not, 
<laughs> not one of them little things you get at the beauty supply. You can see in his hand, he has a razor blade <laughs> that he freehands eyebrows. He does my daughter's, he does my mom's. He's been doing my mom's for years. So I kind of sped it up and, you know, I'm put a little music in the background, I guess, because we were talking and chit chatting. But when he be cutting hair and doing eyebrows, he's serious. OK, so he don't say too, too much. But it was, I was so comfortable and relaxed just with his presence that I had started to doze off a little bit. And when he was finishing up, you can kind of see that, you know, I opened my eyes and realized that, you know, he was right there and so for me that was enough and i knew my world was okay if just for that moment <laughs>